O britânico Stephen Hawking, um dos cientistas mais conhecidos do mundo, sofre de uma doença degenerativa há 50 anos, que gradualmente paralisa os músculos de seu corpo. Hoje, aos 71 anos, Hawking é protagonista de um documentário com estreia prevista nos cinemas esse mês. Em entrevista ao repórter Tim Muffet, da BBC, ele conta por que decidiu expor sua vida. O filme foi feito como uma jornada em ciência e para dar esperança a todos com disabilidades. Na idade de 21, eu fui dito que eu tinha uma incurável doença incurável que me matou em dois ou três anos. Os doutores estavam errados sobre isso. Você acha que, em alguns casos, a sua doença incurável te tornou um melhor cientista? I must admit, I do tend to drift off to thinking about physics or black holes when I get left behind in the conversation. In fact, my disability has been a help in a way. Of which of your many achievements are you most proud, and, and why? I am very proud that I have been able to contribute to our understanding of the universe. I am also glad that my work has reached a popular audience because I believe it is important that the public should know and have the chance to understand the seemingly mysterious work of scientists. Your movements have become more limited over the years. You're able to communicate now because you still have control over a muscle in your cheek. Do you worry about the future and the, the prospect that you one day might lose that control and ability to communicate? Although I have lost the use of almost all my muscles, my cheek muscle remains strong because the nerve connecting it to the brain is short. I communicate by moving a cheek muscle, which is detected by a sensor on my glasses. That feeds to a keyboard emulator program on a tablet computer. With them, I can speak with a voice synthesizer and do anything anyone else can do with a computer. After suffering from pneumonia, you were once put on a life support machine, which your wife was given the option of, of switching off. Should the families of those who wish to die, but who are too disabled to take their own lives, be able to assist them without fear of prosecution? I think those who have a terminal illness and are in great pain should have the right to choose to end their lives, and those that help them should be free from prosecution. We don't let animals suffer, so why humans? Professor Hawking, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.